this quick edit tip will make you a more efficient editor. Make it a habit to save commonly used effects and plugin settings. These could be time warps, picture zooms, transitions, audio effects, really anything that comes up regularly in the type of editing that you usually do. By automating repetitive, tedious, non-creative tasks, you'll leave more time for the creative part of editing. You'll also find that some projects require a particular look or repeating style, so creating templates is a must. The exact procedures to create these templates will differ between software programs, but the principles are the same. Let's dig deeper into effects templates. First, there's the creation process. Usually, you'll want to switch to your editing program's effects workspace, since it's going to show you the most useful interface panels. You'll want to add an effect to a clip, and change its parameters to the desired animation or look. Then drag the effect icon into a bin. And of course, name it for easy recognition and the ability to search for it later. You can create a whole series of effects that span a range of parameters and looks, with different amounts of zooming in, speeding up, panning around, and so on. Perhaps you want your zoom to be a little less pronounced, more like a drift in. So you'd want to make a preset that only zooms in from 100% to 105%, as well as one that zooms in from 100% to 110%, and maybe also one that zooms in from 100% to 120%. This way, you'll have a range of pre-made effects to choose from, in this case, zooms. Zoom outs can be useful when you want to reveal a part of the frame. you'd want to make a range of them as well. And of course, pans within your NLE can provide you with a reasonable emulation of a camera move. So make at least one that goes from right to left, and one that goes from left to right. Sometimes you'll just want to punch in without any camera move to get a closer look at a character's facial expression. Create a range here, from 110% all the way up to 150% in, say, 10% increments. You can also save specific looks for your footage, like high contrast, warm, or desaturated. Speed ups and slowdowns are also very useful presets to create. You'd want to create a range of those as well. In addition, You'd also want to create a speed of zero if your editing software doesn't already have a quick way of freezing a clip or frame. And occasionally, you'll just want a quick way to reverse the action as well. So be sure to make a range of negative speed effects as well. All right, so next, let's see how we can apply these pre-made templated effects. We want to apply those effects that we've just created to a new set of shots. With your NLE of choice, you can drag that saved effect from a bin and put it on the clip in your timeline. Building all these effects from scratch again would have been a huge waste of time. It's much faster to have these templates at your fingertips for the sake of efficiency and accuracy. Next, you'll want to organize your effects templates. If you have a lot of effect presets, you can organize them into multiple bins by category. You might make bins or folders called something like visual effects, time warps, transitions, etc. That way, your effects will be sorted by category and you won't have to sift through one massive bin to find what you need. That said, you might prefer having just a single bin of effect presets for the sake of simplicity. Finally, if you're working in any kind of collaborative environment, you might want to distribute your effects templates. Every NLE has a method to share templates by exporting them. Your collaborator at the other end can then import that template into his or her own system. It's a great way to ensure consistency across disparate editors and workstations. Of course, it's also fun to share cool moves and effects with other editors to bounce around ideas. Reverse engineering other editors' templates is a great way to get your own creative juices flowing. Often, when working on a project, you'll find that you need to use the same types of effects multiple times. Rather than recreate each type from scratch, 
create a bin or folder that contains the presets for each of these effects so that you can just drag them onto your clips as needed. This will save you quite a bit of time while editing, allowing you to focus on the creative instead of the technical. Hey there, for tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.